Hello you all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Destiny of Manifest by Destiny. And today I am back with my Mark Houseplant favorites. Starting with the plant from the thumbnail, I have this Hoya somebody. <laughs> I think she's like a Hoya Crimson Queen something. I know there's two varieties in here. I got this from Home Depot. I'm not sure of the price. Just go back, watch my plant shopping tours and you'll be able to see how much this was. But yeah, I just watered her last night. So it's been like two weeks. I'm not sure if that's the type of care that she needs. I did accidentally prune it by knocking off some new, some new growth. but in tons of different spots. There's lots of new growth. I have this plant under a grow light and she seems to be enjoying it. <laughs> okay. I know there's lots of like glares going on. I'm trying to make sure the lighting's good. I really don't like using my ring light, but I paid for it, so. So another one of my March favorites is this hanging planter that I got from Lowe's. It has a skin doxis, arguous, argreus, something like that. It has that species inside of it. I've been having issues with growing it. I've propagated some pieces that just wouldn't stay rooted. Um, you can kind of look in there and see how many pieces are still rooted. And right here, there's a root. So for some reason, it's just not staying down in the roots. But yeah, I finally watered it again last night. The leaves look nice and healthy. And it usually hangs like directly where I'm sitting at. So it's, I don't know how many feet, it's, it's close enough to the window where it gets nice, bright, indirect light. And it has very nice variegation. I'm surprised this plant even lasted. I got it when I was in California. When I purchased it, I act like literally when I was at the um, checkout desk, I got hand sanitizer on it. Hand sanitizer. So I think that's why a lot of the leaves died off because it was just like, what are you doing? And it went through such a drastic change from California to North Carolina, like such a big climate change, you know? Don't judge me, don't judge me, don't judge me. <laughs> This is my Sansevier Night Owl that I got from Walmart probably like a month ago. You can see there's a different different difference in the plastic color because it was completely waterlogged when it was at Walmart. I'm feeling it's still pretty heavy, but it's because it's so packed out in there. But I've got it close to the window, so it's getting lots of sun. It's getting, it's dried. It's drying out like it needs to. But as you can see, it has so many roots. This is like clear indication that this plant needs to be repotted because even the roots are coming up from the top of the soil. But yeah, I'm a Sansevieria collector. You can see some of them in the background. And yeah, I really like this one. I enjoy when it's like different textures, different colors. And I've never seen the night owl before. So now I have one in my possession. My next plant is one of my big bushy plants that I let. It um, doesn't climb, it doesn't trail. It's just like bushes, I guess you'd say. <laughs> A nice big full golden pothos. It's definitely bigger than my head, as you can see. It sits under it. I need an adjective, a noun, a verb, whatever it's called. This plant sits under my grow light not too close to it. It's under a couple hanging planters, so it gets pretty filtered. Direct bright light. This is massive, 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 massive. It's so massive. I've been having issues with it. I'm thinking that the humidity was too high in my room, so I've discontinued the use of my humidifier, but I do recommend humidifiers if it's something that you need for your, your plant space. Forward facing camera. I'm on 56% humidity, 71 degrees in here, so I'm pretty good. I'm thinking I want to keep it between 50 and 60 naturally. I don't want to worry about um, 
moisture sitting on the leaves. Cause I don't have a ceiling fan in here. So I only have two like small backyard fans that work really hard to circulate air in here. That plant, or it's like, it just cut my hand. Okay, any plant that you have that's large, you gotta be careful. I broke a nail earlier. I broke lots of nails and I just got scratched. It's hard out here for a plant mom. Even the lazy ones like me, you know? You know it's hard out here for a plant mom. I need some water. This is uh, one of my Algerian ivies. I don't think I showed you this one. I think I showed you the other one that had three leaves. So far she's got new growth, but this one has tons of new growth. And there's dirt in my nails. Yeah, but this is my Algerian ivy. She has lots of new growth. I did fertilizer like last week, but the new growth hadn't come in. So that was a sign for me that it was time to give her some fertilizer. I've been doing research on my Algerian ivy or just all Algerian, all ivy. And I'm looking at um, why the variegation, variegation is going away. It's supposed to be like super white camo gray looking, you know, with green. It's because I allow the, the green leaves to take over. So now the plant is like over running with chlorophyll. A way that I could have remedi remedied this was by removing the deep green leaves before the plant started to grow and mature. But now that it's mature, I think I'm stuck with this, this pattern of variegation, like very, very light variegation. Yeah, so she's growing. I do have, let's look inside of the, the soil. <laughs> it's like you're looking inside my purse or something. This, it has this bark or this, well, it no longer has it. It had a stem in there that was not growing. It seems that it still has some roots though. I'm gonna try to stick it down, 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 down into the dirt and cover it up. I'm sure something will happen then. I'm about to water this plant. I'm going out of town soon. I need to make sure my ivies are nice and hydrated. I might even move it away from the window. I don't know. Now that I know that the variegation is like gone, it's not a thing anymore, I might move it away from the window. Yeah, but I love ivies. I'm really surprised that I kept this one alive. Last year when I first moved here and I first like started my plant room, had tons of ivies. I started with small like four inch pots because for some reason in my mind I'm like if I can keep the four inch pot alive it'll grow and I can plant it and we'll just we'll grow and prosper together. But I happened to find this one at Lowe's like two years ago and yeah I got two. This one has three stems left or three like branches stalks and they're starting to put out new growth so hopefully I can propagate this and get me some well, I think now the variegation's gone, but I'll have more Algerian ivy and I'm going to be looking for some in the very near future. So stay tuned for, I'm moving the camera. So stay tuned for my upcoming plant tours. As always, it's me, Destiny of Manifest by Destiny. I wanna thank you all for watching. Right now we're at like 4,000 subscribers. Thanks so much to all of you who have subscribed, who have been watching, commenting, liking, participating on the community page, all those things. Follow me on Instagram at Manifest by Destiny. Until next time, it's me, Destiny of Manifest by Destiny. Whew. Bye, everyone.